Hey guys, welcome to Do Split. If you live in Nigeria or a similar country and you're watching this at home, you're probably lacking something we've been struggling with for a while now. Power. And I don't mean the TV show where the drug dealer wears suits, has a white friend who is more black than most, and has a son who wouldn't survive real Nigerian parents. I mean, like, I, I digress. I'm talking about electricity, power. And the product we're viewing today has a cool solution that solves that problem. It's a flashlight that runs on water. Let's get to it. Hey guys, so we're talking about Hydrolyte. Hydrolyte promises to run on water, right? I mean, you think, why not just make an AC that runs on water? Wouldn't that make my day? And it claims to be revolutionary technology because it runs on water, it gives you 300 hours, it's supposed to give you a total of 300 hours worth of power when you use this. Yeah, so first of all, running on water, generating power with water is not revolutionary technology. It's, it's a battery. There's a hydro cell in here, which they claim once you take it out and you dip it in water, it's supposed to run. And that's it. So it sounds tech, but really, I think the water just completes the salt electrolyte in the battery. Geek rant about how batteries work. Batteries are essentially three parts, an anode, a cathode, and an electrolyte. The electrolyte causes the anode, which is the, uh, the negative terminal, push electrode. When you put it in a circuit, it pushes out electrons, which is, causes oxidation. And then that's accepted at the cathode, which causes reduction. That whole reaction is a redox reaction and it happens over and over and over and your battery dies and that's how a battery works. Long and short, high school, you want to figure it out, Google it or something. But let's get back to Hydrolyte. Um, this claims have a 25 year shelf life. So basically if you store this, uh, waiting for the zombie apocalypse, this will last 25 years and nothing will go wrong. You should be able to work when you take it out. It's supposed to be two in one and convert but I'm gonna rip this up now, stop talking about it, so we can actually try it out. I do not have a knife today, but I have a bags. And I'm gonna uh, stab it. And yeah. I just destroyed it. I don't know if it's okay, like guys. Beast mode. Shout out to Flossy. The original beast mode guy. But yeah, I think I got it up. Bleeding. No, I'm not. I'm not bleeding. I'm not bleeding. I'm fine. So it says you do this in four easy steps. You twist the bottom off for the hydro fuel. I'm guessing this is what it is. It's sealed. So I'm guessing I have to take this out of the bag. See that. happen okay I got it I got it I got it so we take out the bag put that to one side and this is the hydrocell so you see it's very perforated super perforated so I'm guessing there's a salt based electrolyte already in there I, I guess I will research it in detail to see how exactly I work and of course we have our terminal at the top uh, the negative terminal should be in there somewhere so let's dip it in it says any water any water so if you're stuck if you land in the desert and there's no water and there's no light, you could essentially pee on this thing. I don't know why you want to pee on this, because if there's really no water and you're stuck for days, you might need to drink your pee to survive. Light versus survive. I'm gonna drink my pee. I'm probably gonna drink my pee. Yeah, I think he agrees. I'm gonna drink my pee. So let's put this in the water. Dunk it in. It says about 10, 12 seconds. So I'm gonna count and believe it or not, did he say 10 to 12 seconds? Yeah, it's only been five seconds. This is like the longest five seconds of my life. <laughs> and it's 10 seconds now and 12, yeah. Is it 12? It's 12, it'll do. So it's to shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, giggity. And then let's wipe this off a little bit. Water. Shake it up. Okay, I'm gonna shake it up on the table. Wow, that really soaked it up. It's like it's been thirsty. Okay, I think I got most of it out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't do 
do a lot of exercising. Okay, okay. We sort of have a dry-ish. I was thinking back in. So we put it back in. We'll seal the base. I think. And we have power ish. And 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 that's one of the main problems with this product. <clears throat> so each dip will give you a hundred hours worth of continuous power, right? Hundred hours worth. But what kind of power? I mean, look at look at this. Look at this. It's like Resident Evil gameplay. You can barely see. All right. I bet if I turned on my phone, it'd be ten times brighter than this. So this is meant to be able to convert. If I pull this up and hit this, it's supposed to be a lamp. But this is the lamp. Yeah, I don't know how bright this is. I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't think I can survive with this, is what I'm trying to say. So, I, I don't know. It, it's, it's the luminosity. So the company says this gives about a hundred lumens, I think. I'm pretty sure hundred lumens is brighter than this, if I recall what hundred lumens look like. I will test it. So what are the pros here and what works, what doesn't work? The fact that you can store this for 25 years, great. The fact that it runs on water, you don't sort of have to buy batteries, there, even though there is a battery in there now, great. Uh, but technically, that means this thing only works for three dips of 100 hours per time for 300, 100 hours each dip. And from the luminosity, it's terrible. I can't, it's not enough to even blind me and I'm pointing it directly in my face, right? And what else? So it is sturdy. I think I can, if I try it hard enough, I can knock someone out with this thing. But I, I can't, I don't really have to try it hard. But other than that, there is no plus side. Maybe you might just be better off buying Duracells. Duracells don't last very long. I mean, forgive me. Uh, I'm gonna cut that out. Maybe you're better off just buying regular batteries that last 10 to 12 hours or something and keeping them stored. Fine, they don't last as long as 25 years, but I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find batteries when the time comes. Uh, my regular torch I've had for many years does way better than this. It's, it's a tough sell, that's what I'm saying. I think there's been better expressions of this technology, but this one doesn't do it very well. This thing is worth about 20 bucks right now. It might be cheaper, might not. But again, it's really hard to recommend. So yeah, that's my thoughts on this so-called hydrolyte. It's not a solution. If these guys built you an AC that runs on water, it's not gonna cool, I'm guessing. So yeah, that's my two cents. At bottom line, hydrolyte, it's, it sort of sucks, all right? Um, thanks for watching, guys. Don't buy this. <laughs> whatever you do uh, look at this look at this this is supposed to be the hook for when you're fixing your car I think it's supposed to be sturdy oh, look, look at this look, look, look it's a joke yeah it's a joke thanks guys for watching I will see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe uh, we'll probably check out some more cool stuff see if we can find a brighter lamp that actually works see you guys in the next video take care